It was a busy time on the island of Sodor. The railway inspector was coming. Signals were checked. Platforms were scrubbed. Everyone wanted the railway to look its best. At last, the big day was here. The railway inspector arrives today, the fat controller said. What's a railway inspector, calls? Percy asked. Railway inspector, Gordon huffed. He comes to look at the railway every year. He checks everything is spick and span, said Thomas. This year he is to give a special prize to the best turned out engine, added the fat controller. So I want you all to look your best. A special prize, puffed Thomas. I wonder if we could win, asked Percy. Pa, Gordon snorted, he's bound to give it to an express engine. Or one with big wheels, said Emily. I think he'll give it to a red engine, James beamed proudly. Don't listen to them, puffed Thomas. A really useful engine can look as grand as any engine. That afternoon, Thomas and Percy arrived at the quarry. But as the stone was loaded onto the trucks, a big cloud of stone whooshed down and landed right on top of Thomas. Yuck! coughed Thomas. Now you'll never win first prize, Percy moaned. Don't worry, Percy, Thomas puffed. All I need is a good washdown. So Thomas raced off. But when he arrived at the washdown, Emily was already there, covered in soap suds. Hurry up! I need to get clean for the inspection. There's no need for you to get clean, said Emily. I'm going to be the grandest engine there. I'll still win first prize. Thomas huffed, and he steamed off to help Percy. Thomas and Percy puffed across the countryside. But when Thomas and Percy arrived at Brendam Docks, they saw the fat controller. He was with the railway inspector. Oh, no! Puffed Thomas, the railway inspector, but I'm still dirty. So Thomas raced back to the washdown. When Thomas got to the washdown, James was already there. I'm going to be the shiniest at the inspection, James sniffed. There's no point in you even being here. This made Thomas cross. He wanted to win first prize more than ever. But James's red coat did look very shiny. I hope my blue coat can look as shiny as James, Thomas puffed to himself, and he steamed back to the docks. Percy and Thomas shunted the quarry trucks into place. When they had finished, Percy was dirty, and Thomas was dirtier than ever. So they raced to the washdown as fast as they could. This time, Gordon was there. All done, Gordon puffed proudly. Thomas thought Gordon looked splendid. Then, James and Emily pulled into the station. They look splendid too. Emily's wheels look shinier than ever, and James's red paint sparkled in the sun. Now, Thomas was worried. There's no point in going to the inspection, Thomas puffed sadly. We'll never win. Of course we can win, Percy puffed. We just need a good clean. Percy and Thomas were covered in soap suds. They were scoured and scrubbed and brushed and buffed. Percy loved being washed. But now Thomas was sad. He thought he would never look as grand as the other engines. 
James, Emily and Gordon were waiting for the railway inspector. The sunlight here makes my dome sparkle, Gordon puffed proudly. It makes my red paint look shinier than ever, said James. And my wheels glimmer, Emily added. The engines tried to find the sunniest spot in the coal yard. So James backed up. Suddenly he bumped into a truck. The truck rolled into a lever. Then there was a whooshing sound. Oh no, James puffed. Coal poured out everywhere. It poured onto the tracks and all over Gordon, James and Emily. They weren't gleaming and shiny anymore. The fat controller and the railway inspector arrived. These engines are filthy. The railway inspector said crossly, I've never seen so much coal dust. Just then, Gordon blew to clean his funnel. Coal dust shot into the air. It covered the fat controller and the railway inspector. Sorry, coughed Gordon. At last, Thomas and Percy arrived. When the railway inspector saw Thomas and Percy, he was delighted. You two are just what engines should look like, he said. Thomas and Percy won first prize. The railway inspector gave them each a special rosette. Thomas and Percy beamed with pride. I'm glad you made me come to the inspection, puffed Thomas. It's just like you said, puffed Percy. A really useful engine can look as grand as any engine.